day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, hey, I hope you've been enjoying our videos. Uh, what I wanted to do, I had to go back to the uh, segments that had been finished with dealing with the 5th of May, dealing with the leading the Holy Spirit, uh, leading us into the wilderness uh, to be tested. And in other words, and I think I said it before, and the fact is that the Holy Spirit leads it led Jesus to the wilderness the Holy Spirit leads us to the wilderness and just like Jesus through the wilderness that's the key point uh, we, we said in our video in this study we're getting into it we're getting into the part D of it but this is part C is the fact is that you 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 going through the wilderness does some preparations and toughening up uh, as we go through life because there's going to be wilderness experiences. Many of us, all of us, I guarantee you, that listen to this video, have been through wilderness experiences and have come out stronger because of it. And that's what we have to do now. And the fact is that, we, we go, matter of fact, this, this COVID-19 is, is, is another wilderness experience and in in the, our ability to, to hold on our ability to to focus and, and be strong and, and 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 to go through this god doesn't give us a test we can't bear so this is a test and is it a test that we can pass and we hold on and trust and let the holy spirit lead us and guide us through so i want to go ahead and finish up a uh, part this part of five may and until we got to wrap up some things on, on uh, 10 10 may and we got stuff to focus on dealing with coming up on the uh, 17th of May. But we'll, we'll get there. God bless you. Because I think the words that we, the Holy Spirit leads us and guides us into is, is something we want to share. That's what it's all about. How to apply God's word in our everyday living. And also, just want to make sure you understand this. Stay safe. Keep praying for the, the for deliverance from this virus. Uh, 5 May, I think we're talking maybe 40,000. Right now, this is the, the 17th of May. Or the 16th of May. Get ready to go to the 17th. And with 80, over 85,000 people have died. There's a family affected by those numbers. There's a name behind those numbers. So let's keep one another in prayer. Let's, we, we need to be, as a nation and as a world, to come together. Those of us been gifted by science, God has given the gifts and knowledge of science, pray for them to, to uh, come up with vaccines or treatments for this. Pray for God that our immune system, our natural immune system, uh, ensure that the majority of us can get through this pray that we make wise decisions amen but keep praying god's going to get us through we're going through this wilderness i'm telling you the holy spirit with you jesus said i never leave you no forsake you amen all right i hope you enjoyed this part of the video like i said we're trying to catch up so uh this is for fifth may this is part c and before we go i do want to put one more thing in there is this when Jesus was going through the wilderness experience, he was tempted in the wilderness for 40 days. After that attempt, after those temptations, he was a hungered. And then the devil brought three final temptations to him. And I think those three final temptations have a significance, and we're going to cover that in part D. But one of the things I want you to know is that he was able to sustain himself in the wilderness without food and one of the things we brought up the fact is that 
he was hungry before in another part in the scripture. And John chapter 4, when he's talking to the woman at the well, the disciples had went to the town to go get more food and to bring it back to him. And after he finished talking to the woman, they showed up and they said, eat. And he said, I, 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 I have food that you know not of. And, and, and the, the food he was talking about is, is, you know, the Bible said that man shall not live by bread alone. That was in the temptation, right? But by every word proceed out of the mouth of God. Jesus was held and sustained in the wilderness for 40 days by the power, the presence of God, the Holy Spirit. Doing the will of the Father, substance of His presence sustains, sustaining Him. He doesn't sustain us as we go through this wilderness with this COVID-19. Just remember that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word proceed out of the mouth of God. And if we can get hold and hear Him and stay on Him, He'll sustain us, and he'll never leave us. We already got food supply issues and everything else because it's COVID-19. We need God to sustain us. We'll get it through, but we need him. That's what he wants to say. All right, I just want to add that to it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. God bless you. Bye-bye. But Jimmy, these situations do make a shift in the paradigm of who you look up to. But it, 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 it's just, a, it's part of the will of the Spirit. I could have sworn I read that scripture say, I took you to the wilderness to prove you. Is that true? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, I took you there. Cause I, you needed to, you needed you to understand. Down at the, uh, the Lord was trying to create in them a new norm. And like we're talking about new norms here. Right. The other stuff that we experienced and the way we've done business in the past has changed forever. Yes. The, the, the internet was a beautiful example of that. Come on, now. The exchange that we have now in comparison to the last 50, 50 years ago, even 20 years ago, beyond measure. I think what we're being done now for us is I think we are have, we're having a new norm created for the house of God or the body of Christ. Right. We are having to go to that one on one in order to get guidance. That's Come the expectation, on. but it's always been that way. It helps, so it yes. It took us a while to change our approach. Right. And so what God is doing, because all judgment shall begin in the household of God, right? Come on, come on. And the world system teach. that's really being dealt with is the church. And it's the, the church, church in turn is going to provide an example for the world to follow. But it's us that's being tweaked. Right. If my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. scripture is being made manifested in our lifetime. It was a prophetic scripture because they didn't call them Christians back in the time when that thing was written in Second Chronicles. Exactly. They weren't called Jehovians either. I mean, Jehovians or, or, or Norway or, or Yahweans, they were called Jews. But we are called Christians after the God that we serve. So Which is Christ-like, anointed-like, right? So, yeah. Yes, so that was that scripture was prophetic. Here we are now being brought to that place. We're literally being brought to that place where we are in the face of God. We are calling upon the name of God. We are in prayer. And what is his intent? His intent is to use us as we initially to manifest his glory in the earth through the healing of his nation. Right. It is a wonderful thing because God help us. Man, do you know that this brother who led these people whose hearts were turned against God is actually leading them to their destruction? Wow. He encourages them to pop up and to go out and to do things counter to what is sensible. It is going to kill them. They're not going to put on a mask. They're not going to do the social distance. They are going to go back to work. They are going to defy. They're constantly going to be trying to put people down in the rule. They want to return back to where they were. And 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 and, and, and where they go? If you return back too fast, you're going to get the same consequences, right? You, if, if you turn back now, for us, it's death. If they yeah. went because they went back to Egypt, God allowed them to die off in the desert. Come on. The church came Woo! back. <laughs> well, I don't think they knew their way back to Egypt. At that point, they were, they were, 
they were led to where they were. Weren't they? That, Somebody had to they show them oh, how to get oh, to that. where they were. Yeah. So there was no turning back because they didn't they didn't know where they were in the beginning. They well, learned, know, to, they learned right. to follow the Lord, right? In the yeah, devil, yes. he taught them how to follow him. But they still, in their time of distress, initially they turned back to Egypt in their spirit because they built golden calves, and the calf was a god that they had in Egypt. He said, This is the one that brought us out of bondage. It's the same thing that we've done. Yeah. Well, you finances, know, it's thinking it brought us out of abundance, but finance was actually the reason we were in bondage in the first place. It's God that leads us out of bondage. Yeah. Right. Well, see, yeah. they they went from not wanting to be in the position that they were in, and and many of us came to Christ that same way. We had to hit rock bottom. You know, we had to try everything but God, and so. They re they they relied on God to get them out of that situation. They prayed on it. They believed it, and then it happened. But they still the had that mindset button. of being in captivity. So yeah. they had to go through and learn how to trust in God. And and it's it was no different than like a butterfly oh, so I think it, going into a crystal icon at the bottom. You know. Now if you okay, look at a butterfly. You see it before it comes out of that chrysalis. You open that chrysalis now? up for yeah, it. Oh yeah, the butterfly is gonna Thank die. You in there now because it has okay. to go through that struggle right, bro, of coming out of that okay, chrysalis. Right. Yep. So many people are in that situation. They're stuck in that chrysalis, right. so they have to go through some things to rely on God before they can come out a new creation. They're just right. stuck in the middle of that. And, 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 and that, that's what I feel we're going through right now. The yeah. church is being progressively brought through that process. We are being perfected. Yeah. As we, Christ was over 2,000 years ago. As that it was over 2,000 years ago. The process was completed at that point. The way was made. But we yeah. are yet entering into that place. We are yet to enter behind the, the, the into the holies of holies, to go behind the veil. We're still going to the pastor. <laughs> we're still coming to each other. It's like, well, what do you think? What I think ain't an issue. No, Jesus, God. yeah. What what the Lord is saying, right? What is the right. Lord saying? Right. I, I can't figure this out. I don't know the answer to this question. What is God saying? <laughs> what is God saying? Hey, Brother Addison, also let you know in Numbers 14, they said, let us make a captain and go back to Egypt. Amen. They, yeah. They, so they knew what they knew how to go back to bondage, just like we know how to go back to sin. They, they know how to go there. But the question uh -huh. is, God is saying is, look, look, I'm not going to send you back. I'm, I'm not going to let back. you go back. Nope. Matter of fact, I think God is saying is, if, if I'd rather you go ahead and die in the wilderness. Now you're preaching. Than, than to go back to bondage. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> hey, man. You know, Hallelujah. Hey, Jimmy. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Bonnie, but I, I put up here the, I wanted to go over this temptation. Okay. Because just like we're going through temptations, and I think into the wilderness, we need to understand that even Jesus had to go through it for, I guess, to be, he was tested as well, right? Absolutely. And he's testing all points, but this was an interesting test, and I, and I want to see if you can go through this, and, and we might want to break down each of those, uh, it was three tests on this one. But first, I'll just bring out the point is, hey, Chris, it's the Holy Spirit that led him to the wilderness. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. I just want to make sure everybody understand. Yes. Sometimes God, the Holy Spirit, is going to lead you <laughs> where you're going to be squeezed in that anointing Amen. to come out. Mm -hmm. all, right, all right, Jimmy, you got it. But you know, Pastor, it only makes sense, though, just like a uh, mother eagle pushes the eaglet out of the nest. Woo! Sometimes we have to be forced into those things which are best for us because Preach. we're going to always gravitate toward, gravitate toward that which is comfortable. Yes. And uh, obviously run away from anything that's painful. But yeah. sometimes the, 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 the breakthrough is on the other side of the situation. But on our own, we're not going to automatically just volunteer to step over. We're going to stay where we are. You know what it I'm saying? It ain't pretty. <laughs> Nobody. Yeah. <laughs> the temptation of Jesus, Luke 4, 1 through 4, 6. And Jesus, uh, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan 
and was led by the spirit into the wilderness. Woo! Amen. Being 40 days tempted of the devil. And Come in on. those days, he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterwards was hungry. Of course Come he was. Come on. And the devil said unto him, so he, he got set up in a situation that, uh, that, uh, that he was going to be hungry. There's no Come other on. way he couldn't have been hungry. Come on. And so then, and the devil said unto him, if thou be the son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him saying, it is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Now, if I'm hungry, I ain't in 40 days, and I know I can turn a stone into bread, that's a heck of a temptation. Because that's I'm, a temptation, I'm starving. Right. If the right. refrigerator was full, and like Brother Addison, the grill was full of meat, you can't tempt me to, for, for <laughs> a morsel over here. But if I ain't ate in 40 days, I can be tempted to, to, Come on, brother. to grab a hold of something to get something to eat. In other words, he, so, so the functions is what, what he's trying to say. Look, don't, don't look at just the substance of this world, right? <laughs> I need you to look at me. You, matter of fact, you need to understand my substance is something that's more sustainable. You can, you, you, it doesn't have a storage issue. It, you, know, you, you don't need the refrigerator. <laughs> you don't need fire. You need this. And that's another thing, and, and Bishop. We just we just finished reading about the fiery serpents, and 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 the fact is that they were moaning and complaining. And they got bitten, you know. They had to go to the to the serpent to look up for the healing. We're talking about the circumstances here, Jimmy. Even in this, is saying is if you focus on your stomach, if you focus on your flesh, you focus on that to feed you, and sustain you. You need to understand you can't be sustained by substance alone. <laughs> Bless you, bro. You can't yeah, okay. be sustained by substance alone. You he have to be sustained a, by the word of God. And, and he was almost put in a situation that if he had it done, if people would have said, well, I understand, you know, he hadn't eaten in 40 days. I mean, I understand. So, I mean, I would have done the same thing too. In other words, he was put in a position whereby if he had have uh, listened, then, you know, let me speaking from us now, that people can say, well, I understand why he did it, you know, because after all, you know, he had to feed his family, you know, you know, he had to, he had to sell his soul to the devil because of what else he was going to do. He was going to die. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's just a situation. But I'll yeah. start on in from start back at it four. And Jesus answered him saying, it is written that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, all this power will I give thee and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me. And to whosoever I, I will, I give it. Now, Jimmy, I was sitting there saying, that he was trying to say all this glory. Now, everybody got different, but he said he tried to show them all the world's power, all the, 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 the wealth, the, 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 he said even glory that was given to him, he was trying to say this material stuff. Chris, you know, hey, your, your promotion. Hey, your position. Hey, your, your, the, the, the stuff. If you worship me, I give you all this stuff. And Jesus said to me, Chris, uh, well, he ain't answered yet, did he? He answered yet. But, but you see, my point is the devil tries to get people to focus on stuff, focus on position, focus on status. And let's see what Jesus said about it. To focus on anything other than what, what, what he has told us directly, and that's the problem regardless of what it may be, just to kind of get us focused on that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he said, if thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. You know, and he brought him into Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. And in their hands, they should bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. And Jesus answering said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt 
the Lord thy God. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. For a season. For a season. If, but but I thought it was interesting, Jeremy, it was the fact that this, this is what he tried to say. I want you to go commit suicide. I, 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 I want you to, hey, hey brother Addison, I want you to go protest in that Capitol Hill so, so, so that I can show you that God going to cover you. The party's going to cover you. <laughs> hmm. uh, oh, I'm, I'm going to tell you, go work back in that, uh, that meat factory because I told you to go back to work in the meat factory because you need to work. Oh, yeah. That you know something. God, else. God will cover you. You'll be covered by the blood. <laughs> Pastor, we've done that in the church as well, you know, right? Huh? We did that in church as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, 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 I, and I, I, I've been guilty of doing that because you sometimes you go out and do stuff that God don't tell you to do. Like mm. on the norm, I would have been the first one down the street trying to preach anyway. Woo! You know and like, my faith tells me I can go and preach and won't be all right. God, God, God and already took care of that. But I think the mistake that I made in the past was I might have heard something that God said for a particular situation, but I need to know what he was saying for this one. Right. Faith isn't doing what you think God going to bite. It's Woo. doing what God tell you to do. Right. And history, history did not give you give me a a uh, a, 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 a carte blanche or a blank check to go and do what I think I did in the past again. You had to hear from God. And I can honestly say, on a personal note, I was told not to go out there. For whatever reason, I do not know. You know, maybe I just wasn't physically or spiritually prepared for the task, and I would have lost, you know, lost my life or whatever it was. But I wasn't told to do that. And I have some brothers who are still out there preaching in the street. Oh, really? Yes. The people that I have preached with are still preaching in the street. I don't know how that's going to fare for them. But I know for me, I wasn't told to go do that. Right. So when he, he told Jesus, everything that he told Jesus was legit for that moment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 91 says he could give his angels charge over you to bail you up, leash your dash your foot against the stone. It <laughs> wasn't written. But what was Jesus, what was the father saying at that moment? And I think one of the things that is beautiful about this passage is that it illustrates that we have to have our ears on oh, for, yeah. current, for current information. And what is the Lord telling you to do in this moment? In real time, what is he saying? Exactly. So words, we, who, we make, who you been led by? We make that mistake now. Yeah. So, so Bishop, you you are you just coming in? We talked about the fact that it's being led by the by by God by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness. And we saying as we use these first couple of scriptures, we're talking about is that in the wilderness is where you are perfected. In the wilderness is where you are molded and shaped and in this case even jesus was molded or jesus was tested because it was used for him for his ministry i mean it's interesting before he started his ministry chris he was led into the wilderness amen yes oh yeah uh let's see can you hear me yes sir. yes well huh? yeah we can hear you I have uh, the first question I have about the text is is why is Jesus filled with the Spirit? Woo! <laughs> That's right. Yeah. He was filled with the Spirit, Chris, Jimmy. <laughs> You gonna answer that, Bishop? Well, I'm just thinking. Okay. What do you think, Jim? I see. Apparently, uh, the writer wants us to know off the bat that apparently Jesus thinks it's necessary. To be filled with the Spirit. Right. Before this temptation starts. Yes. That the Spirit of God does not want to send him out there. He's led out there. Yes. He was led out there. But he's led out there 
after he's fasted 40 days and 40 nights. Is that is that accurate or did I misunderstand? Yeah, that's accurate. I don't I don't I thought he was he was led to the wilderness and for 40 days he was tempted and after he was finished then we get these three questions right. so he was being tempted during that whole 40 day time when, when he was led into the, the spirit I'm, and this is a question my understanding of it was that he was led into the spirit where he was tempted 40 days and 40 nights and like you said the culmination of it was when satan came and stood in front of him so he was actually fasting for that 40 days and 40 nights before Satan came. Is that not, that's correct, right? Well, let's read it. I mean, it said verse, it's verse two, it says, it's up on the slide, it says, being 40 days tempted. Now, Jimmy, that, what is that saying to you? That, that, that well, means- That's was, telling me that, that I'm, 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 I'm like Myron saying that uh, for the whole 40 days, he was being tempted of the devil. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. And when they were ended, he, afterward yeah. a hunger. Then that's when he came with him with the three, I, yeah. I would say, major temptations. Yeah. Okay. So it was yeah. either on the 41st day or the 40th day right. that these last three temptations came. Well, it said, it said, it said when, when he, they were ended, after when he hungered, and the devil said unto him, so... This sounds like 40 days plus. Yeah. Let me give you these two major tests, three major tests. Because uh, remember it said, the scripture said in Hebrew, he was tempted in all points, just like you. Yet. So he, he was appointed with a whole bunch of other, yeah, without sin, yeah. But the whole point is he was tempted mm -hmm. in all points. And that could have been, Jimmy, that's when the window of temptation major temptation occurred but well, you to a place of vulnerability he didn't start off right at the gate he had to get right. him at his most weakened state yeah so that he really felt like he had an opportunity then to make some headway to, to cause a breach mm -hmm. so obviously you know you ain't ate for one day i mean you know you, you come and tempt me with something to eat it's not going to be difficult for me to say well no i'm good <laughs> but now if you come up on the 40th day with that sandwich <laughs> then then see it's, i'm in a little bit different position now yeah and you are tired. You are tired. And, and, and hungry. Right. <laughs> but but the Real point hungry. was, so these, these three tests, though, so that means, son, it, it, come correct me wrong, then. Uh, these, these three questions, because that's why I caught in there, uh, Brother Addison, was these have three significant purpose behind them then. Because these are the tests that were actually written for us to look at and, oh, I guess, and i guess the question was the first one is do we live you know the just and live by faith faith comes by what hearing hearing the word of god amen so 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 in other words i live by the word of god chris not okay. bread alone I have and to live. I think Go there ahead. was the, these these tests were were significant, and the fact that they 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 weren't a part of what God was desiring of of Christ, uh -huh. and uh, and Jesus proved that by replying using God's word. Right. You know, uh, after he was hungry, it says after he was hungry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That he tempted him to 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 turn some stones into bread. That's using the power of, of, of God to manifest something that had no significance in his purpose for being there. Um, and to satisfy him personally. Well, you know, but, so, but you know what? I want to throw something at you, Chris. Uh, 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 Brother Addison, this is not the first time where Jesus was hungered. The woman at the well, he was hungered, and they 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 set the disciples went to get food, and and they came back 
with the food and he was not hungry. And, and they said that somebody give him something to eat. And he said he 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 had he had he was he something else fed him. Did he have food to eat that they knew not of? Yeah. You, you remember that, yeah, Elder food Johnson? To do his father will. Yeah, he said, My meat is to do my father's will. Woo! Yeah. Think yeah. about that. I'm just saying is because that that this question of first the first temptation was, I want you to make bread. Yeah, <laughs> out of soul, and the and the and the answer was that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. <laughs> and then in John twenty four or four, that's uh, that's when this woman was talking to him. I guess it was four. I can't remember. I think it's chapter four. That woman was talking to him, and the disciples came, and you just said it, Elder. He said, I, "I'm getting a substance that you know not of." Yeah. Is he trying to tell us something? I I think he is. I really do. I mean, what sustains us in the flesh does not sustain us spiritually. Woo! Uh, it is. It, it doesn't feed us spiritually. What feeds our flesh, and it says in the scripture that uh, the flesh was against the spirit, the spirit against the flesh. He was souls to the flesh, the other flesh reap corruption, but he was souls to the spirit, so the spirit reap life everlasting. It also goes on to tell us that it's the spirit that gives life to the body. Right. So we want to sustain our bodies and we want to be in great shape and everything like that. But the reality of it is if we don't feed our spirits, we're just, I mean, it's a, it's a waste of cause. It's vanity. It's, you can't it's do almost it. like, hey, bro, as a chicken out. I'm just, I'm tapping in something. Maybe I'm off base. Mm. But when, when Moses was up on the mountain. Mm. Hold up now. For 40 days. Oh, look. I, I, I don't remember any provision that he took with him. And yet he was sustained yeah. in the presence of God. I, I'm just wondering, maybe God is trying to tell us something on this little, this little test here. He's what? saying is your substance yeah. is the word of God. Yes. Or doing the will of God. We...